God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground, neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned the dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Welcome to London, 1918, as we leave Pembroke Hospital, a sacred ground where the vampires and the guard operate in harmony. You're Dr. Jonathan Reed, and you're searching for somebody who threatens to dismantle that harmony in Dotnod's narrative-driven action RPG, Vampire. Exploring London, talking to her citizens will reveal hints about the location of your objectives, but you'll have to earn them by playing with the delicate social microcosms that tie the survivors of the Spanish flu and vampire societies together. Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? The important thing is I find him, quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. So we're now en route to the docks to find Sean and understand why he's fled away from the hospital and probably killed another patient, Harriet Jones. As a vampire, you have access to skills in combat as well as outside of combat, often to help you traverse her semi-open world. The most efficient way to grow stronger is to feed from the healthy, not to fight those risking the flu and pollution in the streets to hunt vampires and skulls. If we were unable to beat this mini-boss, we would be tempted to return to the bar, and perhaps feed from Tom for a greater experience boost, returning stronger, but with London thinning in numbers. Vampire's combat system uses a mix of melee and ranged weapons supported by vampire abilities that allow you to be the vampire you want to be. The gameplay is based on timing, positioning, and management of different resources. 
The stamina bar regulates your melee moves and dodges. The blood bar controls the use of your supernatural abilities and the health bar represents your health. There are many areas to explore, loot and pick up information to learn about the world. It's lore and what happened to London since disease spread. At the beach, we're fighting people operating under the head of the Vampire Hunter's orders. The Pruin guards are investigating this beach, searching for Skulls. Stay close, keep an eye on each other. Skulls are a lesser species of vampires lurking in quarantine areas, underground or in dark corners. Due to the Spanish flu epidemic, they have suffered heavy mutations and have recently become very aggressive. It's part of your quest to understand how they became such creatures and ultimately find a cure to save them. In this world, the human vampire hunters and scales are having their own fight. As long as we don't get too close, we can just move on. Sean is a saint who manages a night asylum to provide food and rest to the poorest. Unfortunately, he has recently turned into a skull. Do you believe that, incapable of dealing with his new condition, he has fled from the hospital where sacred ground and murdered Harriet Jones, an old woman who certainly didn't deserve it. Most importantly, he is the pillar of the Dock community, which means he's a very important character whose fate will deeply impact the district and everyone who lives within it. Our exploration, social manipulation and skills in combat have led us to where Sean has been hiding. We must find out the truth about the hospital's murders and ultimately decide his fate and the fate of those who rely on him. Cursed be the choice. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? Are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed. I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? This shelter is the tip of the iceberg. You hide your game well, I'll give you that. We are God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's determined to save us. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own kind, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day, I believe you'll cross the line. Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges... You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take. Eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. Ah. 
I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Why kill my Mary? Why bury her in this distant and awful place? It's a quarantine requirement, madam. The epidemic... I'm so tired. Please just take me home, Avery. Yes, madam. I know I should feel something, so why don't I? What does it mean? That I'm dead too? What's troubling you so much, Jonathan? Lady Ashbury, what are you doing here? I came to give you a warning, my dear. There's really no need. It's best if you just leave. Please, Jonathan, drop the pretense. I've had centuries to observe this world. I know the pain you're in. Really? So what's your diagnosis, Doctor? You're not heartless, but you are afraid to be free with your feelings, in case the hunger in you is let loose too. You missed your calling, my lady. You would make a fine alienist. Mark my words, Jonathan. The more you hold back what's inside you, the quicker you'll become the monster you most fear. But what if it's already too late? See that steeple? St. Mary's Church. I can't think of a better place for you to go to right now. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. She glides, a smile of frozen promise, a Pythian oath. those bite marks. The flu didn't do this. There's a vampire at work here that needs killing. Easy, Billy boy. This corpse is drained dry. Whoever did this is long gone. Bloody leeches. I'll cut down the first one to show his face.
This flu kills so quickly. Less than three days. No one even heard this poor fellow's calls for help. Yeah, these things smell even worse when they're burning. I like their screams when you burn them alive. That's this nest of them cleaned out. We won't see any of these bastards back here again. Steady, boys. We got one of them here. You better have my money, Baron. Well, can't you just look the other way this week, Joe? Come on. We can sort it out, right? Come on, Barrett. You know the game. You pay for peace of mind. No, please. I, 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 I don't have your money. Always try. for Christ's sake. It's not my call, Barrett. You pay one way or another. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist. If I don't answer the first one, what makes you think I'm going to answer you? Go on, piss off. I'm a doctor, not a journalist. A doctor, you say? Don't often see a doctor down here. I believe the contents of this box may hold more than a passing interest to you. Oh. Letters regarding my boy. 
If you don't mind, sir, I'll be taking those. You do not seem either surprised or pained by this. Surprised about what? Harry's me boy and I'm his dad. That's all anyone needs to know. If your son is ill, maybe I could check on him. If you would just let me enter your home, sir. Don't think I like your attitude, sir. In fact, I'm starting to take a dislike to your face. I could try and improve it, if you get my meaning, sir. Yes, my son. What is it? I'm sorry to disturb you, father. My name is Jonathan Reed. Really? That was the name of the poor girl we buried tonight. Such a terrible story. Are you family? Yes. And more. I... I'm the monster who killed her. You're distressed, my son. Come inside and we can talk about it. Monsters, father. Do you believe in them? Troubled souls, yes. Sinners from cradle to grave, but monsters? No, my son. They don't exist. I hope you're right, father. For the sake of us both, I truly hope you're right. <laughs> 